Congratulations, Frederick. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Yeah. Come and stand. Sarah, I'm going to be interviewing you. So, um, so, okay, so thank you for coming today. No um, why do you want to become an operations graduate at this company? Well, the company is Warburton's, and I've worked for Warburton's currently for six years at the minute. Um, I've worked my way up to be a team leader at the moment, but I want to be introduced into a new sector of that. I currently work for production, but I'd like to see what operations is about. So that's why I'm applying for the graduate programme rather than a job in operations. Yeah, yeah well, that's brilliant, thank you. Um, what current experience do you hold in the food manufacturing sector? Um, like I mentioned previously, I've worked for Warburton's for almost six years. Um, so I've worked in a bakery, so I know all about bread and potato cakes and crumpets. But before that, I did also work in a fish and chip shop. So I know about small businesses as well as large businesses, food-wise. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. Um, please talk us through your qualifications to date. So I've got 10 GCSEs, A to C, um, and then went on to do AS levels um, in gra graphic design, product, um, product design, and politics. Um, and it, unfortunately, I left school early so I could go and get a job due to personal reasons, but then I took it back up when I started doing university mm -hmm. at 22. Good, so you, so you restarted your education. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good, good. Um, talk us through your knowledge of the health and food safety measures and the standards. So working with food, I know that one of the biggest issues is infections or um, contamination. So where I work currently, we always make sure that we wash our hands when entering um, food production area. We also make sure when there's food contamination that we segregate products. Um, with health and safety, we have PPE, so protective equipment, with gloves, cloths, everything's um, PPE, and it's all checked, as well as plugs, they're all checked by engineers, just to make sure it's the safest place to work. What is your current understanding of food manufacturing environment? It's a very high pressure and um, not so easy environment for workers sometimes. Um, sometimes you can go six hours without a break and it is tiresome. And it's just uh, the team leader's role to make sure that people are less stressed due to this. So you know quite a lot about the environment then with working there six years. Yeah. So can you describe an example of a task which you have managed? Um, yeah, I'm involved in numerous projects at Wobson's at the minute. One of them is the Canteen Refer, which is called the Live Well Programme. So I've just recently done a questionnaire to all employees regarding what they would like to see in the new canteen. This has gone back to senior management and it's been made a decision that we are going to get a new canteen and the results from my questionnaire is going to be put forward in the new canteen. Okay, just take these notes. Um, please can you give a specific example of when you've had to solve a complex challenge when dealing with coal leaks? Um, with being quite young and being in a team leader role, um, I've had people who are older than me be quite rude because they don't like somebody younger giving them orders or challenging them. So I have actually had an employee swear at me. Um, so I had to obviously act very professional because of the role I was in. Um, so I, I reported him to HR, I had a private word, and he's been found with me since. Good, good. So, and, um, and you've had to deal with quite a, a complex conflict there, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what current experience do you hold in the food manufacturing sector? So, um, like I said, I started off at a Saturday job at a fish and chip shop. And then I went on to working part-time at Warburton's and Haji. And then I went on to production for five years. We've been on production for five years now. Okay. Uh, and what do you feel you could contribute to our team? I think I'm a very confident person. I'm very loud and I, I express my views very strongly and um, I don't hide anything so if somebody wants to know the truth from me I'm very honest 
I'm also very creative and I, I, th I do do a lot of presentations. And um, what is your current level of IT skills? I'm very good. I use Photoshop, Excel, Microsoft. I'm uh, good with Apple and Windows servers, so I can use both. Great. And what are your long-term goals? Well, I'd like to stay at Warburton's where I currently am. And then whilst I work, do get my degree, I'd like to move my way up the ranks and become a manager. And once I've got my degree, I'd like to apply for the graduate pro program, which is what I've done now. And then after that, I would like to become a senior management person of operations. Right, that's brilliant. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for interviewing me.